it is now supported to manage studio updates in Talent Administration Center. In the The Studio Patch tab of the Software Update page, the two latest available updates are listed. You can also add a custom update version to the list. Choose an update version and click the Apply button next to the Update URL field. In the dialog box, click the Yes button to apply this update version to your projects. Note that you can only apply our 2024-05 and later update versions from Talent Administration Center to Studio. When logging into a project managed by Talent Administration Center, Talent Studio automatically retrieves the update settings you have as configured, which appear as read-only update URL. The Studio Update settings is simplified in this release. The base URL is removed from the Update Settings view. You can now update Studio with the update URL only. A brand new modernized Studio UI of refreshed global look and feel is provided in this release. The Studio splash screen is updated in new colors with the Click logo. More than 2000 icons have been revamped including optimized Studio Core icons which are more meaningful and more consistent. Modernized component icons with latest technical partners brands added for more visibility, redesigned overlay chart to understand components usability, and vectorized icon for a sharper display. Links and groups are reworked with simplified color code and dot code for readability. Grabbing of components is eased. To connect components together, you can now click the input component, and drag and drop the dot icon displayed onto the destination component. A row main connection is created between the two components. The mapping screen is refreshed. Mapping experience is optimized with a new color scheme. The new Studio UI is also available in dark mode. The new T-OpenAI client component is available in beta. It allows you to use the OpenAI models to easily analyze and process data according to the instructions given in your prompts. To configure the component, set the OpenAI API key in the token field, then you'll get the list of all available OpenAI models you can use. For this demo, the GPT-3.5 Turbo model is used, this model can understand and execute specific instructions. The input data that is used is comprised of one column named Content, it is the default expected schema for T-OpenAI client. This column contains a list of addresses provided by sales teams that have different formats and do not include the country names. OpenAI is going to be used to guess the country names based on the input addresses. A prompt is written to pass the instructions to the OpenAI model. And finally a T-Logro component is used to print the results in a table. Let's run the job now. As you can see, the five rows are passed, and the component is able to correctly guess the country corresponding to each of the five addresses provided.